the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. All right, what's going on, guys and gals? And we are back for another fun edition of the brew review. And what we got for you today is something new, something I've never heard of. This is called Ham's American Classic Premium Beer. Oh, if it's an American Classic, how is it new? Born in the water. Well, new to us. Oh, new to us. But you can see it does say since 1865, so you are kind of right. So it's an old one. But, yeah, it's premium beer born in the land of the sky blue waters. I forgot to do the rotisserie test. Land of the sky blue waters? That's what, what it says on the front. What does that even mean? So, and it just repeats the same thing as you turn it. So, land of the sky blue What the hell is that even called? Brewed in true family traditions from purest water and choicest barley, malt, grains, and hops. Well, every beer is like that. I got to uh, give shout outs to Whitney Muttersball's dad. We call him B-Rad. He donated this to me. Oh, okay. Hams Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee. Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. Boy, he knows how to party. <laughs> for consumer questions, call 1-800-645-5376. And it's recyclable aluminum. No, no. Aluminium. Aluminium. Hams. Um, people have told me this is kind of like a competitor to PBR, kind of in that genre. Really? But I, it's very cheap by the case, apparently. I will give a shout out here because it says right there, dog, union made. So, it's made by a union. Support the unions. Woo! Maybe. Maybe. So, we were always told, though, where I work, that unions are the devil. Yeah, I hear that too. From but guess level. what? They just don't want us to organize. But so anyway, for the third week in a row, we're getting in the can. No, we'll just have it right here. But oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the opening of the can test. The, the no, not the cap test. The draft test. The drink test. The burp test. All that good stuff. The wide mouth test. So without further ado, pop. It Ooh. popped. Nice pop. Beautiful. Smells budgety. As in no smell. Not much. Yeah. It's got a smell to it. A little bit, but... Hey, we never once said that budget beer is bad beer. It's just that if you're on a budget, it's the only one you can afford. But, if you're at a party and it's handed to you, it's a free beer, so it's a good beer. Remember that, people. Free beer is always good beer. Well, I'm rephrase that. If it's Clamato or Santa's Private Reserve. Or Dead Guy. Or Dead Guy A. Not Dead Guy. I, any of the other shit that we've had over the years. Anyway, what are you drinking there, dog? Tonight, on this episode of the Brew Review, I'm drinking hams. Let's try it. Brewed from the. Whatever, the Scott, Blue Sky Lakes or. Miliwake. Alright, Claire Burst. <coughs> must, must have went down smooth. Yeah, it tastes very light. It's, since 1865. But it's nothing that I would call memorable. So 1865, so this started right after the Civil War, or near the end of the Civil War. Actually, it started just a mere three and a half, four decades after Yingling. Youngling. Yeah, well, not everybody. So, but it, it must be a regional thing, too, because I, how did we never hear this? Not everybody can be young. Really, so. This must be more of a, like, a Midwestern type of region thing. Probably. Like I said, shouts to B-Red for getting all the, this. All the regions have their budget beer. I think our region has either PBR or Natty. I thought PBR was nationwide. Okay, maybe it's nationwide. Maybe that's the nationwide budget beer. I don't know. What do I know? We're from Big Spring. We don't know anything. But, as far as the budget beer goes, it's not bad. No, I've had far worse. 
So, we are going to, um, um, let's go with a little Newcastle, the one and only glass. So, I like, I like the cans because then you get the lip right there, and then you know you're never going to miss your pour. So, you just pour and very light. Very light indeed. No head. Drippy, drip, 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 drip. Then you can Alu see aluminum, aluminium. recyclable aluminium. Look at it. Look how light that shit. Yeah, and you can see that there's not much carbonation. The head's very quickly dissipating. Your light uh, ears usually don't have a head. Good after burp. More carbonation. I think the only time a light beer has a good head on it is if it comes actually from a keg. Ooh. I was going to try and slide it, but my luck, I'll spill it. Yeah, I won't do that. So we're gonna... We haven't had a legitimate spill yet. No. Just The only spills we had was like I'm blowing up. Accidental ones. We even had vomiting, but no legitimate beer spills yet. Mm -hmm. But after all, this is season six. You never know what's going to happen. Good afterbirth. All right. Um, glass, glass, glass it! It's got flavor to it. Um, goes down smooth. I'd like to know exactly like the price of these things. But... Well, you know what? It's kind of funny you say that. I just thought about this. I was at Walmart in Winchester. They had cases of this, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, I'm thinking it was like right around twelve bucks or so a case. Okay. So it's it's very budgety as far so... as price. It would be like the Lion's Head yeah, back in the day. Yeah, I was going to say, compare it to something around here, it would be Lion's Head. But I like Lion's Head better than this. Yeah, it's okay. Um, if it was the only beer available, then yeah, I'd buy it. For what it is for what it is, and what it's worth, and what you uh, pay for it. Good burp. I won't give it any lower than a three and a half. I thought it was good. It's definitely a, here, try this kind of beer. Or if you're in the, the region there that it, they sell this in and you are on a budget, it's going to get you drunk. And I'm not sure, b Red is from around here, so I'm not sure where he found it at. But honestly, I've never seen it until he gave me this. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be one of those beers that you have seen a lot of, but you never really paid much attention to it. Yeah, or maybe it's something that you do see around here and they just don't heavily promote it. Kind of like the Pennsylvania lager that we did once before. Because as soon as I saw that, I'm like, what is this? Because now, whenever I go into Beverage Express in Carlisle, well, worth the drive, by the way, um, I actually, like, see it there. I'm like, oh, hey, Pennsylvania Longer. Hmm. But, yeah, I'll give it a three and a half. That's respectable. That's being, that's being generous. Nothing yeah. special about it. Well, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It didn't suck. But I would call it your run-of-the-mill, just your average... I just need a cheap case of beer. Yeah. So, yeah, like you, three and a half. We'll just go that route. Just straight the middle. A little bit of a curve. And yeah, like like I keep saying, the previous two hundred and fifty some episodes, if offered to me at a party, yes, I would take it. Yeah, that's good stuff. You know, I would say I, I even go as far as say six pack worthy in my opinion. Yeah. But it. But if I was desperate for a case, I'd buy it. Yeah. You go into like, oh shit, I got like 13 bucks on me. Ah, fine, I'll get that. Not to say that it's bad. But yeah, hams, I, uh, it's not bad. Yeah. Not memorable. Not memorable at all. But I don't think it was meant to be memorable. Yeah. Unless you watch this episode of The Brew Review. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of The Brew Review featuring hams. Which is, it's... American classic premium beer born in the land of sky blue waters. Maybe you walk in. Yeah, so tune in next week and we'll see ya.